Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're doing another Theros Beyond Death Draft. What is this? Uh, Underworld Breach is like five tickets. I might just take that guy. Yeah, we're just taking the five tickets, guys. We're not above rare drafting here. I mean, if we didn't take that, we'd take like Alarios Enraptured, which is pretty good. It's a 3-2 and a 2-3. But ain't no ain't no ain't no rare draft and shame in my game. This is a league, my dudes. That's a third of a draft right there. And guys, when you do this for a living and you gotta pay for your own drafts, come on. I don't need to explain it to you. Always rare draft. What up, Admiral? What's going on, my dude? Admiral, when is the PT? Is it this weekend? Just wanted to tune in to say you're in my pod. All right. All right. All right. I don't know which one you are, though. So. February 9th? Oh, that's a ways away. Dang. That might as well be next year. I remember Shaman is Battlefield under your control. Target player puts top mill. It's just a mill card. Uh, draw two, lose two, and put the top two cards you'll ever in your graveyard. That's your standard. Uh, I think Witness of Tomorrow is very, very good. And I bet one of these blue cards will come back. And this is a 3-4 for 5, which is typical. A 3-4 flyer for 5 has been recent, uh, recently uh, made standard. Yeah, I think it's better than anything else in this pack. I have no uh, Theros Beyond Death Paper cards just yet. <laughs> I'll pass you an omen to pick up. Well, someone has to. Oh, look at that. There it is. Yeah, I think it's definitely better than those. Yeah, that seems like the pick. I mean, I don't see anything else. Uh, Fairy's Band Brawler is actually very good. Fights up to, like, it's just... Yeah, I'm just taking the, the Fairy's Band Brawler, actually. Rastafari Tribal Man. Sadly, I also have to go into blue. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, two in for a two one, and then they just mill. Deny is good. Can we cast your first spell during each opponent's turn if we want to encounter on this guy? It's not terrible. Oh, I think I'm leaning towards this or this. I mean, Whirlwind's not bad, but I think Deny is just better and limited. Commanding Presence is also pretty good. All right, I'm gonna take Commanding Presence because I think it's the best, one of the better cards in that pack. I had a lot of obstruction, loyalty, plus plans are squawks more. That's, I mean, that's really good, but not unlimited as much. I think we're just taking the flyer. Especially because we have commanding presence now. Maybe we're just blue white flyers. Omen of the Sun seems good. It definitely adds to our devotion. And we could easily be either blue-green or blue-white again. Or uh, blue... 
Blue green. No, I can't. I don't think there's anything like that. So. We can either be green white again or blue white. I think either one is fine. First strike trample haste. This isn't uncommon, but I don't feel like it's that great. I mean, if we have an Omen of the Sun on board, like this is already 3 3 for 4, which is pretty good. That's an above rate. As long as it's not your turn spells you cast, cost one less. It's a lot of cost reduction in this set. Uh, I don't think any of these other cards are that great. Yeah, I'll just take the. Yeah, it's fine. Really? That pack made you think green was open? Hmm. Triton Wave Rider. Revoke Existence also very good. Oh yeah, I actually didn't realize that gain life. I'll just take a revoke, I think. Well, it's gotta be this guy or a green card. And I don't think the green cards are that great. I'm gonna take care of the pride. Uh Stern Dismissal, not bad. Is it better than Wave Rider? No, because this is mostly just a 3-3 flyer and with commanding actually you can play commanding presence on this guy. Yeah, I'll take Envoy here. Envoy into presence is real good. Last pick land. <laughs> oh boy, February ninth. February 9th is a Sunday. Admiral, how is the Pro Tour on February 9th? That doesn't make any sense. Whenever an enchantment is a battlefield, this guy gains a double strike. That's not terrible. It's probably better than all the other options. Maybe Vexing Goal might be better. It's got Flash. You can flash it and then put Commanding Presence on it. Uh, I have not seen the lands in person yet. I haven't seen a physical Theros card yet in person. I'm going to take the favor because I think we can probably get more Vex singles. And, like, this guy could get big. We also only have three blue cards. So we're not necessarily blue, but... Wow, double the double temple pack. Reverend Hoplite actually could be good here. This could be the deck where we're, like... I've seen a lot of those. I bet you have. I bet you have. Yeah, all right. Let's try the Hoplite. Maybe one of these temples comes back. Oh, Lagana Band Storyteller. That guy's pretty decent. Uh, you can put an enchantment card from your graveyard on top of your library. Not bad for a commanding presence. Of which we now have two. What's Meyer's Grasp? What is that one? What a mischievous chim chimera this is. Oh, the neck three, neck three, right on. Uh, whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, deals damage. Yeah, so that's that's fine, but not not the right home about. I don't think I want more five drops. Although this is presumably a four drop. I don't want a philosophy is interesting. Like just draw three cards. And it could also just be two drop. I think it's this guy. I think this guy's good.
Yeah, the lands look like they'd be good in foil. Like, they look great on here. Like... Oh, wow. Sure, I'll take an Hilarious. I dig the non-full arts from Theros. The flavor is rad, and they look awesome in foil. No, the non-full arts. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. When I was looking at the lands last game, the like the plains and the the forest that we had in game, like they looked great. Um, Heliod's Pilgrim could be fine. Searches out uh, Dub's commanding presences. Four drop is probably not where we want to be. Yeah, I'll take Pilgrim for now. What's my opinion on the set so far? I think it's pretty alright. I uh, I don't have any issues with it. I think um. I think standards in a, I don't know. I played a few matches of standard. Like I've only played like eight matches of standard in total, but it didn't give me a great impression of the format. Um, I like the cards in this set. There's a lot of a lot of fun cards in this set, but I don't know if like, I don't know, man. So I wrote an article about it. it comes out tomorrow. This is just a two two for two that loots. Plus O plus two and a death touch counter. Yeah, we'll just take two, two for two. I love full art lands, but I also don't think they should be that common. I don't think the frequency should be that that high. Because then, like, if all full art lands... If all lands are full arts, then they're not really that special anymore. I think that is a real thing. Wow, that's funny, because I feel the same way about standard. I feel like standard feels too balmy. I was like, oh wow, you played a haymaker. Oh, you played another haymaker. Oh wow, it's another haymaker. Wow, someone's like, there's another card in this pack better than this sweet ass swamp. That person is crazy. This pack's pretty unfortunate for us. Got a two drop, I guess. Another another Karamacher's Blessing, but it's not very good. Whatever, I'll take the two drop, I guess. Nihilia's Intervention. Search library for X land cards, put them in your hand, or deals damage to flyers. Uh, really has punishment uh four task counters that can't creature can't attack or block hmm. i think it's just omen of the sea here actually this card's not bad but it's just like hmm. it's like removal but it's very very limited It's gotta be better than an, an, an omen, right? 
Um, unicorn number two, Brian Giant for each enchantment you control. We have quite a few. This guy seems probably better, right? You can get out of here for now. Hero of the Winds, four mana for one four. Whenever you cast a spell that targets it, it gets creature sugar control to plus one plus oh, that's fine. Um almost like a second witness, but we already have like hmm. Might as well take Storm's Wrath. <laughs> I mean, we have two relevant four drops, or Daybreak, Chimera, or Witness. Whatever, I'll take second Witness. Ugh, this pack's not great either. What's even happening? One, three, four, three, that scries, don't care. Wings of Hubris. I'll take wings. I don't think it matters. I'm not gonna probably not playing that. Glory bears is probably fine. I don't think we're playing you either. But you are an enchantment creature. Nixborn Courser is not bad. For a three drop. It also does help our devotion for the Reverend Hoplite. Um, I'll just take Island. Yeah, these packs are rough. I'll take a Temple. Sure, why not? Well, I already have one Heliod's Pilgrim. I'm not going to play a second, so. I mean, if I have to make a cut, this is high on the list, so. I do like a Sun Main Pegasus. I don't think you're better than. Actually, you're probably better than Trident Wave Runner, maybe? I mean, our. Oh, Hero Point? Alright. Our blue splash seems very minimal right now. Like, we could just splash blue for like. Hmm. Interesting. Take out Wave Runner. See taking out the Naiad of Hidden Coves. We can have many spells like we can cast on their turn. If it didn't mess up our curve too much, I would actually probably cut the blue altogether, but One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. That's exciting. Uh, probably gonna go. We still want a blue source on turn three, so I think we're just ten sevening. I think that's totally fine. Yeah, I think this deck looks good. I mean, I have no idea what a good deck looks like in this format. So it's hard to say if I'm correct. Hmm. This hand seems rough. Five drop, five drop, four drop, three drop. Yeah, these lands look great too. Chris, are these the ones you're referring to? Because these all look really good. They just have really vibrant colors. I 
I mean, if we can hit like two drop land land. Okay, that's fine. Three drop land 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 also works. Old main phase fate flend. Uh, yep. Yep, that's pretty good. And you're not an enchantment, because of course you're not. That's interesting. Plus two, plus two makes it a five, five. They get to kill one thing. Yeah, I'll just take three. So five cards in hand, four mana. Yeah, that's a bit that's a bit more of a risk than I'm willing to take. Alright. Well, That's a good amount. Just that guy, huh? Okay, I'll take one. Well, this is like a good old-fashioned stalemate here. Sure. Oh, no attacks whatsoever. All right. Well, they have two cards in hand, which leaves me feeling okay. They put both on the bottom. I mean, if they have, like, the plus one, plus two enchantment and the card that gives indestructible and plus two, plus two, then it would be in rough shape. But I think if they did that, they'd probably go to the two, four.
Yeah, I think getting rid of three one ones is probably a little better, but uh, plus two, plus seven, first strike. Fucking cool. Wait, did they order it incorrectly? Because it's only one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Wait, we still we still killed our guy, right? Because they put they they just ordered them the wrong way. Sure. That's fascinating. Well, that's pretty good. Um So we traded one, two, basically three for hero and three one ones. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't think we put it on here because it doesn't give us a consistent way to break through. Well, that's pretty good. That upkeep dig. Oh, it's got out of combat, I guess. Yep, there's a lot of tokens we got here. I, mean, I feel like this is discard a card, draw a card, sure. Okay, well that'll do, I guess. <laughs> That's, wow! All right. All right. Yeah, all right, I think our deck's pretty good. A nice little island. See, if this is the one-two flying bird that reduces enchantment cost, then we can just... Oh, fuck every game with this guy, huh? Well... Uh, I mean, there's definitely some cards I've seen. I, mean, I like Ashiok a lot. I like Atris. I like uh, Dream Trawler. Hmm. There's a 4 6, and like they have no profitable blocks, right? Kill this guy, it takes four. Yeah, that seems fine. And the one one's definitely helpful to 
block whatever monstrous nonsense they have here. I was like, alright, I'll double block here. If they don't have a trick, like, their, their guy just dies, so. So, 4 6 is first strike. They can block with everything. How do we deal with that? So, 4 here, and then they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Unfortunately, there's no real. Oh, the first strike actually would take this out. But that doesn't actually change this. It's always going to be two. So I can go three and one or two and two, but that's not going to do it. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. That's a nice one. Hmm. So if we tap down to this, I guess we tap down the Daxos. And they triple block with everything and go just take out four of these guys. That doesn't seem great. They just push everything in front, right? And then we can go one, two, three, four. And they would take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, the more looting they do, the better. I mean, I guess like if they want to spend three mana to loot every turn, that's totally fine. So now we can scry and we can play a vexing goal, which is pretty good. I wish we didn't wish we had the command still to put on the Yep. I mean they're digging for something. Whenever you cast your first spell, it deals one damage, sure. Uh, I don't need a second one of those guys. It's going to be a land here. It's two damage to any target. Sure. Targeted the hero of the pride? Why, why not target our face? That's weird. Oh, they said whoops. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't understand that, but then then they explained it with a mistake. This is three to scry, sure. And bottom. It's gonna be five drop. Um Yeah, you know what? That's not bad. Oh, 
we're just jumping here. Okay. Deals four damage to a thing. Sure. You're gonna kill my horse. Okay. Fascinating. Are we dead here? All right, so 2-2 two, two on 5-2, 2-2 on 5-3, 1-1 on 5-4, we take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Actually, we took way more than 15. I guess there was a trample in there that I didn't see. Maybe I didn't count this for. Yeah, this set seems fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're, if we're dead, we're dead. Unfortunately, I have no enchantments in here, so I can't actually gain any life. I mean, we could play two more guys, but then we have four guys and we're still dead, so. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, I don't think we need to change anything. Yep, the sand seems great if we can hit one more land. And then future lands also make it good. Man, this would be much better as the bird again. <laughs> land. All right. No third land. <sighs> cool. Eh, so three two with heroic for the most part. God, every fucking game with this card? Is it possible you don't draw one game? Is that a thing? Would you mind doing that? That is fine. I wish Heroic Existence was... I guess that wouldn't do anything anyway, so... Alright, land one time. Let's hope it survives. 
That's where they go. Enchantment, that gives plus four. Uh, I got another one. Sure. Well, that's three turns. Here, I'll take three. Sure, get them scries on, boy. Nobody, you're reading up on some MTG lore right now. Let me tell you that, that Yogmoth guy is a real dirt burger. That sounds correct. Yep, that's pretty good. So long, bird. It was good while it lasted. I just want to get the uh let's just get the other one i wish we were drawing lands here because then i could like play something else but Is there a spell that can go five here? I didn't think so, but uh, XL, sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two. So we're gonna need two blockers next turn. Presence on here puts them to three. And we lose both blockers, then we probably die if we We could also just play Nixworn Courser. Double block here, block here. We can't revoke any duders. It's either witness and Nixborn revoke the Elspeth. Elspeth does like nothing right now. Now, until their next turn, ah, maybe we might want to get rid of that then. Yeah, this is going to be close. Yeah, 
Yeah, this card's great. Sure. I mean, if you got it, you got it. I can't not do this because you don't win next turn. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to get that guy. Wallodil, what's going on, my dude? 67 months. That is insane. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Well, this is pretty sad because now we have to revoke this, but it costs four. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, that's pretty fucking terrible. So now we get to chump block, and then we're pretty much probably we're just strictly dead on the next on the next turn. Yep, yep, that was amazing. Must be nice drawing this card every game. That's actually insane. Yeah, I mean they <laughs> they drew that card more consistently than I drew three lands. So. I always forget to believe in the heart of the cards. That is a uh, every game with this guy, man. <laughs> On the bright side, we do get to go get a commanding presence for turn four. But let's try to hit a land as well. Man, my head is killing me, guys. Oh, well, that's good. I guess we'll get a second commanding presence. Unless we draw it before. Seems about right. I don't know if this has any more targets. I think it's just a 1 3 now. A 1 2. Not even a 1 3. I don't think we actually have anything to search for with Heliod. The question is, it's better to trade this guy or the two tokens from the Omen? I think we're going with... I think we'd go with the 1-1. One, one. Okay. I'm on board. I mean, they're just going to bounce it or kill it or something, I'm sure. 
Yep, four mana. Yep, fantastic. Oh, we didn't attack with the two ones. Wow, that's terrible. Well, that's my bad. So. You can look at your deck list in the limited tab. I was not aware of that. Where? In the other area, access to limited. Here? Reprises, undefeated decks, change decks. Oh, like this? This seems really hard to... <laughs> this is hard for me to parse. Like, I don't know what these cards do and it's not showing me. Like, why doesn't... Why is this empty? <laughs> Show me the cards. Uh, Yeah, that's not even worth it for me, dude. The powerful cred card. Uh, yeah, let's just play Storyteller. Hope they don't deny us. They did not. Flash your little birdie in. If we draw land, we can go revoke and command. Oh, no, Tom, I appreciate the help. It's not your fault. No, man, what are these Yu-Gi-Oh references, my dude? What is even happening? I think we should have attacked, but on the same hand, like, we got to take out another 3-2, so I think that's actually fine. What's happening here? I just want to take my two. Okay. We did it. Oh, nothing, huh? I mean, what choice do I have here? <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, crying out loud, dude. Sure. Wow, two legendary creatures. That's weird play. And, oh, we have a Heliod thing. Okay. I don't know what the holdup here is. Uh. 
I mean, I got a one two. I just block here, right? Take five. I'm basically, I'm basically winning. Yep, I don't know what's going on. My connection is all good. Yeah, all right. Man, chat's also super quiet right now. Okay, they played the planes. Nope. All right. Commanding Presence plus lifelink next turn could be very, very good if they don't have a third Triumphant Surge or a way to deal with this guy. You're super quiet, nerd. God damn. Chris, you have no chill, man. That's unbelievable. Hey, listen, I wasn't hugged enough as a child. I'm all angsty and aggressive. God, I thought you got past that. Who is Chad anyway? Uh, Jesus. Uh, oh, my last two models of my 40k army, so I'm trying to focus on that while listening. It's probably like some rat army. Is that a 40k thing? Do they have rats in 40k? Skaven? 40k Skaven? Is that a thing? No, that's fan. Dang it. Dang it. I don't know about rats. I don't know about warp. I don't know about space. God, these plays are taking so long. I don't understand them. Can you tell me what the holdup is? today junior I don't even know what a thunderwolf cavalry is God, what is going on? We have seven more minutes on their clock. Wolves riding wolves shooting wolf guns? No, there's no way that's real. That sounds amazing, but there's no way, right? This game does, in fact, involve Skaven. Nice. Are they still there? Are you there? Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Oh, Chris, you slide into my DMs? What did you say? You said thunder... Oh, th is wolves riding wolves shooting wolf... You liar. This is just men riding wolves, firing regular guns. This is not the same at all. I feel like I've been misled.
Does anybody know why this game is taking so long? Oh god, basically dying inside. Space wolves are like space vikings with wolf. Oh. Wow. Wow. That's how I feel about space wolves. Oh god. This is really something. This is they're really in the fucking tank here, man. Oh, they 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 played a one-one. All right. No, 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 nailed it. Oh, I see. Chris is showing me details. This is a this is the gun they carry, which is technically a wolf gun, I guess. My god. So it is. It's super wolf. Oh, good. Oh, good. That I'm glad you took 20 minutes to do that. To have the exact card you needed for the plan I was going to implement. I'm glad I got rid of my revoke existence on your... 2-1. Uh, yep. Alright. Well, I thought I was doing well. I was, like, really excited about gaining 6 life or 4 life and making a 1-1 one -one and... What? What? What the f what? Why wouldn't you give this one protection? I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Oh, because they wanted to get the the white card off. That makes sense. I get that. I, I, you know, I get that. I feel that. Sure. Let's both untap our aliases. Okay. You got it. Get your 1-1 one, one back. flavored of Iroas. I'm going to put both of these on the bottom because right now we're just playing commanding presence and drawing a land. Day 34. Shirty dirty dirty. So well timed. <laughs> yep, I think we're dead. If we play this guy, they give this guy pro. It doesn't. I guess I can just alpha, right? And we block three and two, and then we take three. Let's see what they do. Oh, boy. Yep. I mean, they had to have, literally have all three of these removal spells. And sometimes you do. Sure. Simply better than just alphaing normally, I guess. See, it's funny because the best part about the Transcendent Envoy is that it lets you play the Commanding Presence on turn 3 and start attacking, and it also makes it a 3-4, which dodges both of those removal spells. Well, both of the, uh, the, the destroy a four, 4 power creature. Anyway. <sighs> but, you know...
I felt like our deck was good. His intentions are good. This card's not super impressive unless you're playing like the heroic deck. I just don't have enough uh, enchantments to really make it worthwhile, unfortunately. Now I have an omen of the sun. A swamp, huh? Well, that's something. <laughs> I changed my entire deck around. Three guys, huh? Okay. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, now we got now we got the island, so I guess we're just Esper. Well, that's twice we've played against that card tonight. Oh, do they just block and give protection from white? Because that seems good. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. You can keep up vexing gull. Oh yeah, do you guys want to see this? This is, uh... This is historically accurate, just so you guys know. Actually, that picture is terrifying. <laughs> oh lord well I guess we're going to play cutie bird Jesus. where's my land I can play both of these and it's set up ourselves real nicely for this guy next turn one two three four five one ones goosh I mean if we play this it does give us a turn because they're likely going to spend their turn killing this guy So, protection means this guy does nothing, unfortunately. So we're just going to make a token. Can we walk alligators around by their tails when I come to visit? Is that a thing you can do in Florida? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, no attack, huh? 
Come on, draw the Karametra's card. That's not it. Why would you do this? Why would you do it? I don't understand why you would do it. I mean, they have two of the two of the rule spells, so there's 100% I have one here. Why you'd wait, I don't know, but... Oh, wow. They don't... Oh, this is fascinating. Well... I like the lady in the back who's like laying on it. Yeah, this one, she's really it looks like there's a there's a thing here that she's leaning up against. Oh yeah, there you go. Draw two. Make sure to get you make sure to draw your little board wipes. <laughs> Fucking god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Phenomenal. I'm just going to get rid of the gull. Five one ones seems pretty good here. Three, four, five, six, seven. They have three blockers, so we can easily just attack five at Ashiok. I gotta eat two one ones. That's fine. If they want to do that. What's my least favorite triple color combination? Probably Naya. I just don't like that. I, I just don't like what Naya stands for. Like it's usually like big, fat, aggressive, uh, green, red, and white creatures, or like dealing damage. And like this, like I think my favorite is like Sultai. Second favorite is probably Grixis or Esper. Third favorite's Jund. Oh wait, I totally forgot there were ten. Bant is good. I do like. I actually like Bant. Um. Mardu's all right. Uh, I don't. I don't love Jeskai. Because I, I usually, if I don't like the things those color combinations are usually trying to do, like Jeskai usually is trying to play a bunch of small spells to give their guys big advantages, and I'm like, I don't really love doing that. Naya is doing a lot of like attacking with smaller or to medium sized ground creatures and I'm like I don't really like doing that I have named a lot of red white colors that's true yeah I think my top three are like Gris Grixis, Esper and uh, Sultai are those all three those are three blue black ones that's interesting why do you have this many cards? How much? How much does this cost? Two. Yeah, that's a twofer. You counter this and draw a card. Encrypted commandment, bro.
capture. Oh, not a Vexingle. I mean, it's still a two for one. I guess they draw a card, so it's not. But like on board, it's still two cards from Laborde. Frank Laborde. That's not very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna make seven one ones. That's pretty good. Why are they taking so long? They have five minutes on the clock. We have 17. Good gravy. Is this game two or game three? I can't tell. God, the time is taking so long. It's got to be game two. There's no way. Third planes. Sure. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That guy's good. Get rid of this 3 2. Yeah, sure. I feel like they just block here, block here, give in, destruct. Yep, that's exactly what they're going to do. <laughs> yep, seems good. I still think we're way ahead here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine one ones is probably unbeatable. I am presuming they don't counter it or kill three of our power, which they're definitely, definitely, definitely going to do. No. <laughs> oh, well, now they can't because it cost four and they only have three. Sure. Oh wow, no blocks? Jeez. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, artichokey. Yep, this card's bonkers. This card's bonkers. This card's bonkers. This card's bonkers. So like, their deck is way better than ours. Wow. <laughs> yeah, for sure, my dude. For sure. That's that's fantastic. Oh, I just got two of these. <laughs> My deck is bonkers. Violet Grill, thank you so much for the, the conversion. Really appreciate it, my dude. Can we alpha? They go to 16, right? Block here, go to 16. Block here, they take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... We have one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. They can't block the flyer and they're at 16. So they're taking five. 
So they're at 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So they can block 5 other things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11. I think that's, I think that's game if they don't have something. Five, six, seven, plus eight. Oh, God, I think we're one shy. Are we seriously one shy here? Oh, fuck, come on. That's some shenanigans right there. Wow, that's some, that's some nonsense. Math is hard. I mean, they can't attack with the bird now. We can just block this. What? Oh, we'll block. Insta block. Sure. You're at 12, you have three blockers now. There's still no flying blockers? Come on, dude. <sighs> block, 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 you take nine. Fucking amazing. Wow, you're so amazing at this game. It's actually impressive. They're going to win with three minutes on the clock. It's actually unbelievable to me. But I guess if you draw, like, all the bomb cards in your deck, like... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. We take nine. It's ridiculous. Can no longer block this. Can't really afford to block this. I mean, it's gonna take three minutes. Like, it's not, it's not gonna be any. It's, it's, it's a long time. But when they have a seven, eight, and a four, four, and an eight, nine, and a four, four in play, sure. No, revealing nothing. Failed to find. Sure. Yeah, you got it. Wow, three lands in a row. That would have been cool. Four lands in a row. Really? It's the 10, 12, huh? 9, 10, 11, 12. You just throw everything in front of this idiot. <laughs> Thank you! And that's totally reasonable. Does it matter? Quacker 2000! Really appreciate the resub, my dude. 
Yep. Let's see if we can draw five lands in a row, guys. Five lands in a row. Five lands in a row. We did it! Nailed it! Five lands in a row. Six lands in a row. Six lands in a row. We can't run. We can't win by time. There's no way they don't win two minutes. Two minutes is a long fucking time. And they only need three more swings with this guy, so. If it takes them two minutes to swing with just this creep. Sure. All right. So block here. Two, three. Can block two, four. Jump here. Are we dead if we block like this? Probably block here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to one. Okay. Sure. They're only at 46. That's okay. Awesome games. Waste 20 minutes of my time. I am going to concede here and drop from this league. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklepoor, switch.tv slash franklepoor, coolstuffinc.com, and manatraders.com. Also, remember you can subscribe on, on uh, YouTube now and actually like fund the, the content with the membership service. So definitely check that out. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.